Hey folks, happy Thursday. We continue our incarnation series here in the month of December. It is Thursday, December 15th, and we are in the book of Philippians. For those of you who are going with us day by day, we're reading just a, a few verses after where we read yesterday. So Philippians chapter 2, verse 8 today. Walking the earth as a man, he humbled himself. That's the prayer prompt on this day as we try to understand the incarnation. And you might go back and listen to yesterday. Just hit pause right here and go back to listen to yesterday was where I started this argument a little bit. So, so Paul is uh, the people in Philippi, which is where, it, which is one of the cities where Paul started a church. Uh, other teachers have come in behind the, him. And said, certainly Jesus was not uh, God incarnate because he was humbled, uh, he he was lowly, he was a servant, and God would come right being carried and uh, like a king, um, and uh, it, you know with chariots and horses, the 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 whole the whole royal treatment as they would have thought it in those days that that uh, anyone who was God would have commanded that but Jesus did not and so the people are saying surely that he wasn't God and so that was sort of yesterday then today the people are saying well okay Paul then if he wasn't God um, or it, if he was God and humbled and a servant then why is it that we should bow down to him because that's not what he wanted and then Paul goes uh, uh, continues today's scripture and it sort of explains that that's not what Jesus wanted, but God placed Jesus in that place after the resurrection. So, verse 8, And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. So Jesus, um, uh, his life um, and his choice was one of humility. Verse 9, Therefore, God also highly exalted him. So therefore, after the resurrection, God exalts him and gave him the name that is above every name. So that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory, to the glory of God the Father. And so one wants to be humbled in life, but in death one needs to be worshipped. And that's a contradiction that these folks are pointing out. And Paul's saying, well, in, in life here on earth, Jesus sought to show the character of God and to be a humble servant. And in resurrection, God exalted Jesus. And so what we come to understand in the resurrection is that Jesus is the very embodiment of God. It was divine. Um, and is the best representation of God we would ever know. And so for that reason, he should be exalted and we should bow down. So it's this interesting sort of contrast about how he wanted to be treated in life, but how he was treated in the resurrection. And the people, Philippians, they're, they're struggling with this. And Paul's trying to lay it out there for him. So we worship Jesus because he is the the perfect embodiment of God, right? God here on earth incarnate. And as God here on earth incarnate, he displayed the character of God, which was very much had to do with a power giving, um, uh, humble servant uh, of the people. So invite you this week as you uh, as you sort of think through this yourself, um, where you see the character of God and how you might best understand God um, as we read uh, these stories and words of Jesus. God bless. Have a great day.